Back Row Ministry, the world premiere, Mr. Markley coming live and direct at you live from the Kia Studios. Kia Optima Studios, headed to work on Saturday. Beautiful drive through the woods here in um, Jersey, but you got to be on the watch. No deer have a web kind of just jumping out to surprise you. All right, so a few things in the news. I haven't made a video in a while. I kind of like it like that. You know, I don't like to just get on here and chatter, chatter, chatter about everything. I chatter about things that matter, uh, upcoming events. We got uh, a lot of sports events upcoming. We got the college football season beginning, leading us into the ESPN football championship game, or I mean the college football championship, I mean the ESPN championship where ESPN will probably pick Alabama to be in a championship game again because it's good for their ratings. Totally worthless to watch college football as long as ESPN has control over the college football championship. Totally worthless to watch it. Every year, they get on their knees and they suck off Nick Saban. I don't care how you Bamites feel about it. Uh, is This is every year, sucking off the crimson crap. So we'll probably see it again this year. It's already started with um, Big Mike Gulluck dropping to his knees for Saban early on before the season even starts of how great Saban is and all this jada wada wada wada. Who cares? <laughs> so we'll see that kicking off uh, today. College football kicks off today. So be watching for the usual point shaving because you'll see a lot of that. And the... Alabama suck off. Uh, yesterday, Aretha Franklin's funeral. So somebody brought this to my attention. I think I was talking to my mom, but it was a double dress change. Um, before the funeral, when they were just doing the viewing, open viewing for the public to see Aretha's body, um, she had on a red dress. And at the funeral, she had on a blue dress. So I don't know who takes the time to change a dead body or why you would change a dead body as though she's preparing for, for a performance. But remember old school Illuminati information, old school Bavarian Illuminati information where the colors of the Illuminati were put out. And the two primary colors of the Illuminati, you got a, a couple of other primary colors, but red and blue are your primary colors for the Bavarian Illuminati. Red, if you watch Fox News, some of these news, um, outlets a lot of the women are always clad in red if you watch the msnbc the democratic outlets they are clad in blue so these are the colors of the illuminati these are colors above the there in illuminati have always been those colors any businesses you see with red and blue colors you know their affili affiliation is to the societies like bank of america they keep the red and blue right there they already tell you who they're affiliated with a lot of companies just look at the colors and you'll know who they're running with. So this was part of the ritual at Aretha's funeral yesterday. You know, Aretha um, buried on a day where the numerology pretty much matched up to, to her, died on a day where the numerology matched up to her um, as far as Gematria was concerned. Um, all part of, of a ritual. Today we have McCain's uh, funeral which is going to be part of the another part of the ritual big depths in September. So anytime there's major changes that I've been doing the research and kind of looking, I was looking at a lot of Roman history and a lot of the major changes all take place in September. So watch for this month for a lot of things to take place. Man, we had 9/11, September kicked off. So 9/11 is a ritualistic holiday for certain people and it's a ritualistic time for the society so be watching for something to kick off and you know like i say i have the last day of trump being 9 11. i think 9 11 right well it's just my opinion i'm just throwing it out there I could be wrong like i said but i'm throwing mine out there i ain't scared to be wrong that i have around 9 11 middle of the month being the end of trump too many big deaths so we have two big deaths major deaths back to back with mccain and aretha franklin two big rituals back to back so when you have rituals like that, remember, something always usually kicks off. 
system always usually kicks off. And we'll see the day of Trump even shows up at the funeral, which is going to be, you know, a major talking point if he doesn't. That's another way they kind of get this thing started, get this ball rolling. Or he says something stupid to Dan McCain's funeral. So it's all leading up the same way pretty much as people have kind of been predicting. We talk about the 44 to kill code. It's not a physical death. I think people get so caught up in uh, the assassination has to be physical. No, the assassination can be of a person's character. The assassination can be of that person. The psychologically, emotionally, you just tear that person apart. So it's never has to be this uh, physical killing. When you're talking about assassinating, assassinating, you rip that person apart. So right now, Trump, is about to undergo what we call an assassination of his character. His character will be ripped apart in these next coming weeks by everything that's going on with the Mueller investigation, all his friends, so-called turning on him, all this other BS. So prepare for that. Be looking for Kanye. Kanye's he's back in the news. Now, people thought I was joking when I said in the, in the presidential election, I voted for Kanye West, which I did. On my ballot, I wrote Kanye West. Why are you asking? But Kanye had really, really been in the Gematria, the Gematria news and the headlines. I kept seeing Kanye, kept seeing numbers related to Kanye. So I said, I'm voting for Kanye because I think Kanye is going to have a bigger year than everybody, especially with this presidential thing. And lo and behold, Kanye was the man the whole time of the Trump presidency. So sometimes if you really, really study and research Gematria, you'll kind of begin to pick up on a pattern of when something's going to come to light, when things are going to be brought into the spotlight. We talk about LeBron James, all this stuff being brought into the spotlight early, and that story hasn't really kicked off. We'll see that coming closer to October, what's going to happen to the fate of LeBron James. Remember now, none of this stuff is free, even with Aretha. Aretha yesterday showed people that she was a part of the society with the red and the blue switch. That's all she was saying, I'm a part of the society. I mean, she's the self-proclaimed queen of soul. I mean, who the hell named her the queen of soul? Nothing's for free. When they give you a title, they expect certain things. And if you do research on Aretha Franklin family, you probably see a lot of people that mysteriously died that were related to her to keep her career going. So she's not squeaky clean in this. Just go do the research. You'll see a lot of deaths and you be trying to figure out, well, why did this person die? Why did this person die? All to keep her career going. So a lot of blood sacrifice in this world, and people are willing to do anything for fame. And we know this. We keep seeing it. the same patterns. So let's continue to watch on those areas and those fronts. Uh, football, we'll talk about football the whole season. I don't watch too much football on TV anymore. If I do watch it, I go live. I like to see my point shaving in the stadium. So uh, I watch about one or two games in the stadium this season to see some point shaving uh, at its finest. But the um, football NFL landscape is not created yet. I mean, people are throwing out the Patriots because everybody has the blow off Tom Brady as usual. Um, so, you know, what is the Super Bowl without more Brady? Man, shit. But Brady and Eli met, uh, I want to say Thursday. And, you know, I'm still leaning the way of Brady Eli as one of uh, the possibilities for the Super Bowl. Just letting them go out, letting Eli go out with another victory, beating Brady or the opposite. Brady finally beats Eli in his final game. Uh, I mean, it's fucking boring, man. Honestly. It, it, it's like watching WWE and Roman Reigns. You know, they do everything for Roman. And in the NFL, they do everything for Brady. And it's fucking boring to watch a sport where, you know, every year the same guys or the same team is always got to be there. It's like this rule. Well, we can't have a college football championship without Alabama. And we don't give a fuck what the fans feel. Because they don't. They really don't. They can care less of what the fans feel. They don't care. They don't care. If the fans team never win or they get high blood pressure, and that's why we say don't throw all your investment into this crap because that's what it is crap, garbage and crap. So we'll see how the season plays out. Possibility though, Eli 
Tom Brady going out, final Super Bowl to see who does it. Can Brady finally, the Boston, New York series concludes, does Brady finally, finally get over the hurdle and beat Eli, Eli Manning in the Super Bowl? And finally, uh, hopefully, he take his punk ass off to the sunset because I'm so goddamn tired of Tom Brady. I'm just tired of Brady, man. I'm tired of Brady and Saban. They both need to get the hell on. Mr. Mockley, Back Road Ministry, Peace and Hair Grease.